Yo, what's up guys? You're back with Technic and today we have a speed test between the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro comes paired with Qualcomm's latest and greatest Snapdragon 865 processing chip, which is an octa-core chip run on 7 nanometer plus technology and the version that I have is 8 gigs of RAM. The iPhone comes paired with just 4 gigs of RAM and has an A13 Bionic chip, also with 7 nanometer plus technology. That is a hexa-core chip though and there you can see the 8 gigs of RAM on the Xiaomi. The Xiaomi also has a 90 hertz panel and a 180 hertz touch response rate where the iPhone is just paired with 120 hertz touch response rate. We have dropped the animations on both phones to make them as accurate as possible due to that reduced motion on the iPhone and to keep things even more accurate we're going to be pairing GoPro footage at the bottom left hand corner so keep your eyes out for that guys. This is Tech Nick and without further ado let's go. So we're going to start here in round one with a boot test and the first things first with the Xiaomi boots up in just 16 seconds as opposed to 25 seconds on the 11 Pro Max. So it did indeed get its first point in round one over there. When opening all the apps, icons when first going into the phone the iphone snagged that point though we do have a time in the bottom left hand corner over there so keep your eyes out for that guys when we go to the next round that will clock out and at the bottom we also have what percentage of the clip is currently sped up so far with the facial recognition the xiaomi is doing things a little bit fast over here though it is 2d facial recognition and not 3d facial recognition we're doing best out of three over here and the xiaomi gets it every single time especially in the third one over there where the unlock icon at the top goes a little bit quicker giving in it second point in round one. Now I'm moving from round one to round two where we go from camera to PUBG and round three we'll do PUBG back up to camera for speeding up the apps when reopening them up and checking out that RAM management. So as for round one goes we're going to be keeping things pretty simple on screen over here so take a look at the rounds on the left and right uh, for each individual device here the Mi 10 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now what you might notice is that when the apps are very close to each other I do not allocate a point to either. If the speed is very similar, such as you saw there with the calculator app, things were too similar to call, so I didn't give it that millisecond edge difference with an extra point there. So far, things are pretty similar in round two over here with the Xiaomi on three points and the iPhone 11 Pro Max on two points. We're going into the speed test, the internet speed test here. The iPhone 11 Pro Max opened that up slightly quicker and the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro took quite a long time to do that, making sure that they're both on the same servers over here to test out how fast these speed tests can run. We're not really checking out the download and upload speeds since the iPhone is quite a lot less. It does not have Wi-Fi 6 such as we do have on the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. But 24 seconds as opposed to 38 seconds, that point goes to the Mi 10 Pro when running through the actual speed test. And we did speed that up quite a bit. Opening up Spotify, we have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro snagging that point. And then we're going to go into Photoshop Express where we can go ahead and export a photo. But before we do that, opening up the app, the iPhone 11 Pro Max takes the point there. But opening up the photo to go into the project, the 10 Pro takes it there. We're going into the actual picture and exporting it to gallery you'll see that Photoshop Express saved it to gallery at the bottom of the Xiaomi slightly quicker than it said at the top of the iPhone 11 Pro Max there so it snagged a point there and opening up Premiere Premiere Rush, Adobe Premiere Rush over here. The Xiaomi opened it up quicker, but the iPhone opened up the actual project quicker. We're gonna go ahead and export this clip. It is a 4K clip set at 20 fr 25 frames per second. And this is true time, as you guys can see at the bottom right hand corner, real time, 100%. And the iPhone is rocking NVMe SSD storage, as opposed to the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. Still impressive, but not as impressive as the iPhone's UFS 3.0 storage. So I have sped it up quite a lot with the Xiaomi, but it took a minute and 21 seconds seconds for the Xiaomi as opposed to just 13 seconds on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. That is absolutely ridiculous if you ask me. So of course, iPhone 11 Pro Max got that point. Opening up Astral, the iPhone 11 Pro Max took it. And then as soon as we turned Astral on, it looked like the iPhone took it, but it was still loading. The screen was still dimmed and the Xiaomi actually turned it on slightly quicker. When it comes to social media apps, we're starting here with Facebook and the iPhone opened up the first app, which was obviously Facebook a little bit quicker and it did the same thing with Instagram over here though it was extremely close it seemed like it opened it up I didn't allocate a point because the iPhone still had a little bit of loading once it opened even though it did open slightly quicker so it was a tight point there going into YouTube we have the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro opening up YouTube the YouTube interface the home page quicker than the iPhone and we're going to go ahead and check out my channel over here be sure to subscribe if you guys have not already I have a ton of different kind of content just have a look over there and and the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro snagged the point going to my channel. And when we go ahead and open up a video, which is the comparison between the Mi 10 Pro, the Realme X2 Pro and the OnePlus 7T. If you guys have not checked that out, you better go check it out. I have six parts to that series over there, comparing them with Battery Drain, 
benchmark performance camera so on and so forth the list just keeps going on when opening up netflix xiaomi took it and it went into netflix through my profile quicker as well, making it five points ahead in round two as opposed to the iPhone. When you go into Google Chrome, things are pretty similar. And then as soon as we jump into our gaming department here, the first game on the list is Subway Surfers and the iPhone opened up, it opened it up quite a lot quicker. I was really impressed with that. We're gonna jump into flip diving over here. So some basic running games over here. We're gonna get a little bit tougher with Temple Run 2 and of course PUBG Mobile, but things were pretty similar over there. Once again, we have just three points ahead on the Xiaomi now. The iPhone is catching up and with Temple Run 2 opening up now. Remember, we are using Google Play games on the Xiaomi and we are using our Apple ID with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So the loading times are slightly different, but the Xiaomi does indeed snag the points thanks to Google over there so it has now once again retained its four point lead over the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Going into PUBG I have sped it up by 200% you can check at the bottom right hand corner. It'll give you that actual time so it took 11 seconds to open up PUBG on the iPhone 11 Pro Max as opposed to 17 seconds on the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. Now that was a six second difference and now we're jumping into round three. This is not so much going to be about RAM management but more so about how fast we can actually reopen each individual app. So the first point goes to the iPhone since it reopened PUBG a little bit quicker and as soon as we go into Temple Run 2 the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro snagged that point. We're going to go into our next app over here which will indeed be the will, will be flip diving. Sorry about that it took a while to close the previous app on the iPhone. I have quite a few issues closing apps on that thing but that's just me and my clumsy hands and fingers so far we have more points rocking towards the xiaomi's way here with two more points in round three as opposed to the one point on the iphone 11 pro max chrome opens similarly once again and jumping into netflix things are very similar very very similar except for the animations that you can see on the xiaomi slightly over there i'm not sure why there are more animations when reopening apps as opposed to initially opening them going into twitter over here things are very very, very similar but the iPhone just snags the points over there and jumping into Instagram things are once again pretty close though there was a little bit of loading on the iPhone it actually opened up the app quicker so no points over there since it did open it up quicker and this is about speed and now we're going into Facebook and the Xiaomi opened it up and loaded it quicker so it got an extra point over there so far just a one point difference between the two phones opening up Astral pretty much the same and turning them off pretty much the same as well so just one point difference in round three so far we're keeping all our apps open so far, so that's pretty great. But going into Photoshop Express, the Xiaomi actually killed the app and it said that you can resume your last session, but the iPhone actually kept the app running, which is pretty great, snagging it another point there in round three. Going into Spotify, the iPhone actually closed it there, so the Xiaomi got the points. And when it comes to the internet speed test, the same thing can be said where the iPhone killed it and the Xiaomi kept it open. Going into setting system apps are gonna be pretty similar here, guys. We're not gonna to see too, too much of a difference between the two phones. Going into calculator things are once again very very similar but as soon as we go into photos or gallery on the Xiaomi I must add things are slightly different the iPhone loaded it quicker but the Xiaomi actually went straight into the picture so no point was allocated and the camera app the iPhone 11 Pro Max actually opened it up quicker but both of them did kill the apps total score of 23 points on the Mi 10 Pro as opposed to 18 points on the 11 Pro Max I must say I'm really impressed with the Xiaomi though it was really close and I'm not surprised since they're both running on 7 nanometer plus processing technology guys I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it and until next time this is Technic.